you, girl. It's Stacy. I'm here for another time to hang out and more importantly, coach you up on a super important topic. Now, I know I say every topic we talk about is special, and each one truly is, but this month's topic is extremely special. A very important holiday is coming up, one that we celebrate with so much joy because it's at the center of everything we believe as Christians. I'm talking about Easter, not the Easter bunny, eggs, or candy, Uh uh-uh. Those things can be fun, but I'm talking about the real meaning behind Easter, the real reason we should be celebrating. And that's Jesus and the awesome gift of salvation he offers us through his death and resurrection. Sometimes it's easy for us to forget this, to forget what God has done for us. We're not alone, though. You've probably heard of the Israelites in the Bible, right? God's chosen people that he brought out of slavery in Egypt and guided through the wilderness to the land he'd prepared for them. You know the story of Moses? Well, God did some pretty awesome things as he led the Israelites on a journey to freedom. But guess what? They forgot God anyway. They ended up forgetting to remember the wonderful things God had done for them and to thank him for those things. To help them remember, God gave them a great idea, an event really. Each year he had them cook a delicious meal. It was called the Passover meal or a Seder meal as they sometimes called it. And this was a feast. It was scrumptious. This meal had the best quality meat and veggies, flavorful herbs and spices, all kinds of things. And as they ate this meal, they would remember and talk about all of the incredible things that God had done for them. In fact, each food symbolized something God did for them or rescued them from. Eating the meal was a time to stop and remember. It was a truly special meal. This year, I'm gonna take some time to remember all that God's done for me by enjoying a Passover meal with a family that's really close to me, the Harris family. They've invited me to be part of their celebration. Together, we'll spend some time remembering and thanking God for all his many blessings. And I'd like you to come along with me. So let's get going. Hi. Hey, Hi. Come, on. come on in. Hey, glad you could come. That was really cool. I've never had a Passover meal before, but I learned so much about remembering God and his great rescue of, well, the entire human race. Now, each of these foods represented something specific for the Israelites as they left their slavery in Egypt. But I can think of a lot of ways that they mean something to me and my leaving of slavery to sin. When the father told us that the reason the bread was flat they called it matzah, was because they had to leave their slavery in haste and so they didn't have time to let it rise. It reminded me that I too have to run from any kind of sin or bad things that enslave me. Matzah, or unleavened bread, represents a set apart life. Baitza, or the boiled egg, represents new life and renewal. This month, I'm inviting you to dive into remembering the way Jesus has rescued you. The chocolate bunnies and egg hunts can be fun, but this month I wanna invite you to encourage your family to have a Passover meal. Ask your parents if they'd be willing to prepare one and make sure you help. Spend this Easter focused on remembering to give thanks to Jesus for how he's rescued you. 